This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. I'm Wade Brown for Accessible Media. The Torrington Gopher Hole Museum, located in the hamlet of Torrington, Alberta, is a very unique tourist attraction. I sat down with Diane Curta, the director of the museum, to find out more. Hi, I'd like to welcome you to the Torrington Gopher Hole Museum. Well, we were looking for a way to attract people into our small town, and we knew a museum was the way to go. Um, but uh, we wanted something different. So we decided to stuff gophers. We knew we were taking a chance because who would want to come and look at stuffed gophers? We thought maybe we'd last five years, but here we are 20 years later and still going strong. Once I'd gotten a bit of background on the museum, it was time to gopher a tour. The museum consists of 47 dioramas using 77 stuffed gophers in various scenes. Our museum represents uh, our businesses in town uh, and in the surrounding area, uh, like our, uh, our church, our fire hall. So it represents uh, our community in Torrington. This is a, a horse with a gopher on a plow, and he's turning the earth over. And that's just one of Diane's favorite dioramas. Others include, well, there's the community hall, and it's a pair of gophers that have just got married. The groom says to the bride, this beats your mother's burrow, and they're dressed just like a bride and groom. There's uh, Barry and Bernie's diner, and there's a pair of gophers eating, and the male gopher says, boy, am I ever stuffed. There's uh, one with uh, fertilizer plant and he's scooping up manure and that is real manure that he's scooping up it's sheep manure. Besides the museum gophers are definitely everywhere here in Torrington. Outdoors a 12 foot tall gopher statue named Clem T. Gopher is the official mascot of the hamlet. Torrington's fire hydrants are painted to look like gophers. Outside the museum, they also have a great photo opportunity with a sign depicting Clem T. Gopher with a hole so tourists like me can put their own face in place of Clem's. Over the years, the museum has become quite the tourist hotspot. People come from all over the world, believe it or not, and uh, we average around 55 to 6,000 tourists. I believe it. It certainly wasn't just me visiting the museum that day. I met up with Becky Habing and Brad Woodfine from Lac Dubonnet, Manitoba after their tour to get their impressions. I got a real kick out of it because, uh, yeah, all the situations are displayed with a really good sense of humor, <laughs> which we both have. Um, they're hilarious, but there's also a lot of a good attention to detail, like they're very well done. I would say Torrington, Alberta is worth the trip to go see the Gopher Hole Museum. Um, it will... Uh, It'll surprise you, and I think it will you'll leave smiling. You've got to come here just to see the, the work they put into it, and it'll make you laugh, guaranteed. Well, I've had a pretty awesome day here at the world-famous Gopher Hole Museum. They even let me wear the head of their mascot, Clem T. Gopher. If you're looking for a pretty unique experience, you should come to Torrington, Alberta, and check out the world-famous Gopher Hole Museum. For more information, visit gopherholemuseum.ca. For Accessible Media in Torrington, Alberta, I'm Wade Brown.